Alice leverages her 100th episode as an opportunity to find the one with help from a special appearance from guest host Margaret Cho. Alice is particularly stoked for the dating show segment during which three humans will compete for Alice's heart, and she's confident that of these three humans, one could be her soulmate. I know where rush hour is a uh, moose in the road. Can you beat the butt dialing rescue vet from Montana? I'll try. In an effort to seal that deal, Sophie has confirmed that 0% of these three three humans are associated with any cults, mixed martial arts, or improv. And all the Thanks. contestants have been vetted, right? Yes. Okay, because I'm looking for the one. Right. No cults, no think? mixed martial yes. arts, and uh, no improvisers of any kind. Yeah. Alice moseys over to the liberated coffee cart where we meet Taylor, played by Joey Lauren Adams. Alice is a little attracted to Taylor, perhaps cuz Taylor's attractive and has an adorable scratchy voice. Ta-da! Oh, you made a, um... I can do heart, but that just felt a little obvious, I went with chaos. Or a little modern art. <laughs> but Taylor's too consumed by her own normal nest to pick up what Alice is subtly laying down. Immediately, Taylor has become the most relatable character on the program. Are you gonna stay and watch? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, I'll have to overanalyze this conversation for like... Alice tells her to stay. It's nice to have real fans in the audience and not just tourists who thought they'd signed up for Ellen. Alice is basking in the glory of her pre-show presence. For example, Shane has framed a 2005 edition of the chart and Tom sent her a basket of big pens. All right, just... This is better. Right? Love it! Which enables some Tom exposition. He proposed, she turned him down, and they're still good friends. Liberated Coffee Taylor's been recruited to be the third contestant on the dating game, which is great news for Coffee and Liberation. Contestant number one is claiming to be a veterinarian who rescues animals from natural disasters. Contestant number two is hot but she runs a cold storage startup for Enfs which is also incredibly suspicious. Taylor says she's from normal Illinois and her most embarrassing moment is this moment right now. So, number three, what's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? I mean, with well, this moment, we'd have to be up there for... <laughs> Elsewhere in this spacious building on the Paramount lot, the Alice team is celebrating the wrap of their 100th episode with day drinking, and Alice cozies up to the liberated coffee cart to get this date with Taylor on the books. Hey! Are you are you leaving? The party's just getting started. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna head out. Taylor's simply unable to fathom the possibility that Alice has a genuine interest in her, like it's categorically impossible because Alice is famous and Taylor's just an innocent aspiring coffee artist from the great American Midwest. Alice is like, come on, one date. One regular date. What do you think? I think yes. Taylor thinks yes too. Get these to a ship we are ready to set sail. Want more queer content? Then please subscribe and hit the notification bell.